Julian Alvarez has left Manchester City. <laughs> people welcome back to another video and julian alvarez is confirmed to have signed for atletico madrid as fabrizio romano has reported it is done it is over uh, it's very 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 weird it's a sane vibe you know what i mean when you got a, such a good talent like that and then they've gone elsewhere to, to better their career or whatever uh, well first things first with the favorite hit the like button subscribe channel if you are new so as it goes the so he's left uh, City, joined Atletico Madrid on a five-year deal. Uh, we're going to get 75 million euros plus 20 million euros in add-ons, so a 95 million euro deal, around 85 million pound, um, which is a big fee for him, which I'm, I'm glad it's at that range. We spoke a few days ago about the price, price-wise, and um, a lot of people in, in the comments were saying that 60 million, uh, that's what I was talking about, around that figure was way too low. Way too low. I know PSG did come in with an improved offer, like a better offer than what Atletico was offering. But I think uh, Alvarez's heart was set on the Atletico move and they've given him a better contract there than uh, than what he was getting at Manchester City, uh, plus bonuses on top of that. And the the promising in the world, the promising more game time as much as they probably won't play as many games as what City play. But he'll be their kind of star striker. Now, I know that Atletico Madrid have signed Saul off as well, but Diego Simeone, Simeone will make it work with both strikers there. Um, and fair play, all, all, all the best to him, open as well in his career. And I think he will have a very, very, very good career. Um, and yeah, I think I think he'll do bits there. But thoughts-wise, <laughs> I'm gutted because I liked him. Do you know what I mean? And he, he, he would Tevez, Aguero, Regen. It fit the bill. It fit the bill. And also, he offered like this. It was it was a bit diverse between like Haaland and Alvarez, two very different type of strikers. So you can throw Haaland on there in certain games, and certain games would suit Alvarez a little bit better. Um, and that's kind of the way that I saw that working. And we always kind of knew over the past few seasons it'd be very hard to juggle both Haaland and Alvarez. And as Alvarez's career has been skyrocketing. We kind of knew that it's Pep needs to find a way to fit both of them into the team. Now, that really didn't work. Uh, it, I say it didn't work. We had times where Alvarez was playing in the midfield at the beginning of last season, started really well, getting uh, chipping in with assists and goals and stuff, uh, with Haaland still up top. But he's not in the position that he wants to be playing in. So he's gone to basically play as striker somewhere and he'll make his name as a striker somewhere as opposed to going playing at City in all different positions to where Haaland doesn't play. Do you know what I mean? Just suit Haaland. Um, I get it. I understand it, which is why I think that makes it easier for him to go because I understand difficult to keep uh, two strikers like that, both young, both loads of talent. Um, so yeah, he's gone. Uh, record fee, loads of money for us, which I'm happy about. Uh, he's only got a five-year deal, which is decent for him. But now it's time for City to turn their attention onto our targets. I'm pretty sure City in the board, uh, Pep will be drawing up a list right now. Um, even if They might already have a list, but a list of names and then potential suitors to replace uh, Julian Alvarez. Whether that's we go for a false nine or a, a centre forward kind of guy, or we go and get another midfielder like an attacking midfielder. It's annoying because Danny Olmo probably would have fit the bill. Danny Olmo... Would have been a good signing and a good option in there. Uh, I, I've been really against the Danny Olmo signing from when we first was linked to him. I know his injury record isn't great. However, seeing him at the Euros and a few people in the chat kind of swayed me onto it. Uh, so I was kind of backing it and then now he's gone to Barcelona. They've got a great deal. 55 million euros. They're paying it over six years. Um, so <laughs> I still don't, how, how do they get away with this? I don't know how Barca do it, man. I don't. You know I mean, they, they buy players on Klarna and then they just get away with it. Don't get it. Don't get it. Uh, then, and they just never pay either. You know what I mean? They just never give you the cash. I think we're still waiting on 50 mil for Ferran Torres. Um, but I think City now needs to be looking at where we should be looking, uh, where we should be going for. Now, Eze is a name that keeps cropping up and that's really been like quashed over the past few days. I've seen a few people um, over the past uh, like 24 hours speaking about Ivan Tony. Uh, you can get Ivan Tony for around 30, 35 million pounds, something like that. If you can get him on the cheap, he'd be a good, decent backup option to Haaland, um, a big striker up there. Um, it's whether or not uh, we'll test Brentford and get that. And my issue right now is there's three weeks left of the transfer window and every single man and his dog knows that we need a replacement for Alvarez so prices now are going to start to go up because they can inflate it on uh, on City's situation 
It comes a little bit panic, panicky because we're selling without audio replacement in mind. Um, or do we even replace him? Personally, I think we should. I think we should be going into this market and spending that money. Uh, reports today have said that Pep will have the the full £80 million or whatever it is, uh, plus what we've sold already in this window. It makes it around 130 mil, something like that, or around that around that figure. Uh, you, we'll have that money to uh, uh, available to spend on a replacement there. Or do we even use that money for a replacement for Alvarez or do you trust someone maybe put Jack Grealish in the midfield like a pre-season job or maybe you just fill Foden's position just stays in that midfield spot and in, when Haaland's not there we run the false nine system Grealish dropping back a little bit deeper and maybe like Foden we know that Foden can play that false nine system so we basically we fluctuate between having a striker and playing the false nine system throughout the season, whether or not that could work. And then we spend that money on going, getting a defensive midfielder, an area that I think we really, really need to get someone in. And obviously we're running out of time. Obviously Calvin Phillips is still at the football club. I still think he'll get sold. Um, he had a good preseason as well, which is great shop window for him. I think he'll get sold. I think we'll try and get a defensive midfielder in. Um, and it's just whether or not we replace Alvarez with a striker or a different kind of player. I'm not really sure where I want to go for it. I'm looking forward to seeing the links. Uh, today, there's been links to Pedro Neto. Very much a winger. Not really sure if that's the avenue that we're going to go down. I, I don't buy these Pedro Neto rumours. He's, he's got a terrible, terrible injury record. Um, and I think moving for someone midfield-wise, someone who can play in the centre of the park, I think that, that, that makes it a little bit better. Um, I'm gutted that he's gone. But I'm very forward thinking as what we do next. So looking forward to all the rumours that are going to be coming out and uh, trying to wade through the shit ones. <laughs> Try and find the ones that are that are, are more feasible or more, more believable, more true to what uh, City would go and get. But again, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Are you upset? Are you fine with it? What about the fee? Do you think we got a good fee? I think I think it's a great figure. I mean, £80 million I think is good uh, for Julian Alvarez. We only paid £14 million for him, so we've made a lot of money on him. Um, over, I mean, £14 million over two years turned into £85 million is mad. Uh, but yeah, let me know in the comments section below what are your thoughts on Alvarez leaving Manchester City. Um, unreal. But uh, we'll see you in the next one. Blah, 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 see you in a bit. Blah, blah, blah.